Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to explain the rush zero zero for the photo two PC. We're going to create the picture function that prints a character to the screen and the rush function that displays uh, a rectangle of X uh, characters for width and Y characters. Let's go to the VS code. First, we're going to create the pochar function. I'm going to call it pochar. You have to name it FT pochar for the exam. It's going to be put C and write a character to the screen. Now we're going to have to create the uh, rush function. I'm going to call it rush. It's going to take two parameters, x and uh, y. We're also going to have two counters to iterate over the uh, width and the length. So we also have to treat the error cases. Uh, x and y cannot be equal to uh, 0 because if x was 0 and y was 0, we would have nothing to print or even to iterate over. So x cannot be equal to uh, 0 or even less than 0. Same for y. If they were, we're going to have to return a, an error message. We're going to have to return error. Uh, now, I'm going to start j from 1. Why? Because uh, j, we're going to use j to iterate over the uh, y axis. Okay, and uh, y cannot be equal to 0, so we're going to have to start from uh, 1. I've built a matrix to explain that. It's a square matrix, 5 by 5 matrix. In this case, I took x to be, uh, I took x to be 5, and y is also equal to 5. So we're going to use uh, j. We're going to use j to iterate over the y-axis, and we're going to use i to iterate over the uh, i-axis. So j is going to start from uh, 1. It's going to start from here. Same for i. They're both going to start from uh, 1. So we're going to have a while loop. So as far as uh, y is less or equal to uh, y, as far as j is less or equal to y, that means as far as j between, uh, between 1 and 5. So j would be here, in the middle. So we're also going to create another uh, while loop. But before that, let's give i a uh, value, same, same as j. We're going to create another while loop. We're going to do the same thing. It has to be less or equal to uh, x. So i would be uh, either 1, between 1 and uh, 5. It's going to be here, in the middle. What we're going to have to do is we have to print uh, as you can see here, we're going to have to print uh, the, the character O at the corners, and we're going to have to print the dashes and the pipes in between. And in the middle, there's going to be a space. So let's see how we can print the space first. So as far as i is greater than 1, and i is less than x, and j is also greater than 1, and j is less than y, we're going to have to put char space. So what this f statement does, actually, it prints spaces between the x-axis and the j-axis. To understand, let's take an example. As you can see, i cannot be equal to 1, and also j cannot be equal to 1. Suppose uh, suppose that, uh, let me just take another color, I'm going to take red. Suppose that j is equal to 2. So j uh, to, is going to be here, is equal to 2. Suppose i is also equal to 2. So the common area between i and j is this, here. So we're going to print a space using the put char. Suppose that i is equal to 3. So we're also going to print another space here. Suppose that i is equal to 4. We're going to print a space. Same thing if we increment uh, j. Suppose that j is equal to 3 now, and uh, i is equal to 2. We're going to print a space. Now suppose that i is equal to 3. We're going to print another space here, and so on. We're going to print spaces. Now let's try to print the dashes. So as far as i is still greater than 1, and i is less than x, if j is equal to, if j is equal, equal to 1, or j is equal, equal to y, we're going to have to print a, uh, sorry, a dash, this. So this else f statement prints a dash as far as i in the range of 1 and 5, and either j is equal to 1 or equal to uh, 5. Suppose in this case, j is equal to uh, 1. So j is over here, right? And i cannot be equal to 1. Suppose that it's equal to 2. So in this case, we're going to print uh, dash. So we're going to print, let me just change colors. I'm going to print uh, blue. So we're going to print a dash here. Dash over here. Now, suppose that j i is equal to 3, then we're going to print another dash here. Suppose that i is equal to 4, 
we're going to print another dash. So now let's print the line along the y axis. So as far as i equal equal to 1, okay, or i is equal equal to x and j is greater than 1 and j is less than y, do the following. We're going to print a pi or whatever you call this, okay? So this else if statement prints a pipe as far as j is in the range of 1 and 5 and i either equal to 1 or 5. Let's take an example so we can understand. Suppose that j is equal to 2. So here we're going to have j is equal to 2 and i is equal to 1. So j is equal to uh, 2 and i is equal to 1. Then we're going to print a pipe or whatever you call it. So here, let me just take another color. I'm going to take uh, purple. So here we're going to print a pipe. Then let's say that j is equal to 3. So j is equal to 3, i is still is equal to 1. Then we're also going to print a pi. Now suppose that i is equal to uh, 5, i is equal to uh, x in this case, where x is equal to 5. Now suppose that uh, j is equal to 4, i still is equal to 1, then we're also going to have to print a pi. Now suppose that i is equal to 5. So if i is equal to 5, that means here, right? j is uh, suppose equal to 2. Let me just delete this. Okay, suppose that j is equal to 2, then we're going to print a pipe here. Then if we uh, increment j to be equal to 3, uh, i is still is equal to x, and still equal to 5, then we're going to print a pipe. If j is equal to 4, we're still going to have to print another pipe here. So now we're going to have to print o's on the corners over here. We're going to print o, 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 o. If you see, we're going to have to print this pattern. We've already printed the spaces uh, in the middle. We've printed the dashes. We've printed the pipes. And now we're going to have to print the O. Let's do that. To do that, we're going to have to create an else statement where we're going to be putting the, uh, sorry, the chart. So we're going to have to print a line after iteration. And then commit J. So now let's change the put chart function name because we might already have a, a written function in the Unicity library. I'm going to call it FT. Okay, it's going to change this. this now let's uh, create the uh, main function to see if the program really works or not let's make it this Now let's test the program. Let's try with a different number. Let's start with uh, 5 and 3. 